first of all, I'm very happy, very excited, very determined, you know. I'm going to get June 8 better than ever. That's the fight of my life. And I'm bringing the pain for Atlanta, you know. Everybody know what I like to do. Say, who knows what I, ha what I like to do? And he better be ready because it's going to be a tough one for him. Unfortunately, uh, he hit the lottery. He's next. So I, I was looking to fight different guys, 135 pounder, pounders, but he step up, hats off for him, but after the fight, he's gonna redirect. He never fought anybody like me, I know that 100%, and uh, he's a tough guy, you know, he likes challenges. He wanna be a hero, he wants to be one of the best ever, but between be the best ever and him, that's me, Marlon, and I don't think it's going to be an easy way for him. Is there any part of you that's disappointed that you don't get to face TJ Dillashaw? Yes, it does. He was the champion, you know, he defended a couple times. He's one of the best in the world, I think. I, I don't care if he says what happened to him. Uh, Skills-wise, he's a very good fighter. His he's skills nobody can say nothing about. And one day we're going to meet. What brings you to Las Vegas for this camp? I came to Las Vegas to do a couple of tests and, and take advantage of the UFC PI. That's such a huge stru structure they have for us. And I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm very well treated here. They are doing the best for me. I'm very happy, I'm very happy with the UFC. And I can't wait to go back home and blood, sweat and tear, training camp, get back to see you all and fight week and you guys gonna see what you guys never see before.